Okay, let's take a look at some examples of two forms in 3D and try to make sense of it. First of all, what does the linear two form beta given by dx wedge dy minus two dy wedge dz do? What does it look like? Well, geometrically, this takes in a pair of vectors and then outputs something having to do with oriented planar projections. So let's think, if I have two vectors, u and v, then algebraically, what beta does is it takes the x and y components of u and v, pops them into a two by two matrix, takes the determinant of that, and then subtracts off what you get when you compute the y and z components of those vectors, pop those into a two by two matrix, take the determinant, and then multiply by negative two. Expand that out and you get uxvy minus uyvx minus twice uyvz minus uzvy. Now that makes sense, but it's, it's not really so geometric. Geometrically, dx wedge dy is projection to the xy plane and dy wedge dz is projection to the yz plane. So the way you can think about this, if you're careful with your orientations and your plus and minus signs, is that you take those two vectors, u and v, and then you project it to the xy plane, take the area of that. Then project to the yz plane, take the area there and subtract twice that. Now that's a little bit complicated, but that's just a linear two form. What do you do with a two form field? Well, that's really the same thing, but you are changing as you move from point to point. That can be a little complicated. Let's see an example where we have a two form field. Let's say beta is given by x squared dy wedge dz plus y dz wedge dx. Now, what does this guy do? Well, it depends. It depends on location. Remember, you have to evaluate the two form at a point and then feed it a pair of vectors. Let's say u and v. In this case, what you get is x squared times uyvz minus uzvy plus y times uzvx minus uxvz. Okay, while well that's a little complicated as an algebraic expression, can we make sense of it geometrically? Well, we have to choose a, a point, a location. At any point where x is zero and y is negative two, then beta evaluates to, with a little bit of algebraic simplification, two times dx wedge dz. So what this does is it measures oriented projected area in the xz plane and doubles it. Now, let's say you move to a different point. Let's say some point where the x coordinate is three and the y coordinate is zero. Then beta evaluated here is going to simplify to nine times dy wedge dz. So geometrically, this is oriented projected area in the yz plane times nine. Now, this kind of feels hard to, to visualize. What, how do you make sense? of such a two form field? Well, there are some things that we can do. Let's consider a question that we knew how to deal with in the plane. Let's lift it up to 3D. Let's consider the question of flux. What is a flux form in 3D? Remember in 2D, a flux form was a one form field that measured how much stuff flows across a boundary. But in 3D, the flux form of a vector field is a two form field. Here's a definition. Given f, a vector field in 3D, phi sub f, the flux two form, is defined at a point as follows. Given a vector u and v, the evaluation of that flux form on those two vectors is what you get when you take a matrix, pop u and v into the columns, and then f, take the determinant of that three by three matrix, and that's it. That is the value of the flux two form there. Now, by doing minor expansion on that three by three matrix, you can show that what phi sub f really is, is fx dy wedge dz plus fy dz wedge dx plus fz dx wedge dy in terms of the components fx, fy, fz. Now, why does this really measure flux? 
Well, let's think about it. If we take the determinant of that matrix with columns F and U and V, then this is something we've seen before. This is the scalar triple product, F dot U cross V. And you remember that, right? Back from volume one, the geometric interpretation is that it is an oriented volume spanned by those three vectors. And that is the flux of that vector field F passing through the area element spanned by U and V. That's a great geometric interpretation, and that's a great way to interpret an arbitrary two-form field in 3D. Given any such two-form field, you can rip out the components of the base's two forms and turn them into a vector field for which this is the flux two-form. That is a very helpful interpretation that you are going to want to remember.